The law makes absolutely good sense because if we were to start the new year with a four-member board, there were many issues that we may not be able to settle because of a tie vote. And worse, if two members of the board were absent, we would not even have a quorum and we would be not allowed to do business. I believe that's the statutory reason that we have to do this. Not only because it makes sense, I was the one that suggested that we do it before it went to legal and I did not know that legal was going to say, it's not just a good idea, it's the law and there's a reason for it and we're doing the right thing. Do I have a move? Move. Do I have a second? Second, anybody? So I, as far as I'm concerned, we can wait until the oh, summer. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? We have to, I, I, we're not moving in, moving in to do this to the new division. I'll second. Okay. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Mark. I'm like, what was in your mind or what? Good. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm going to repeat the statement I did before just in case you weren't here. Tonight we have eight candidates. But Leona, in all seriousness, I'm only seconding in this process because no one else is. We're under statutory requirement pick a board member for the election, but I want to say for the record, I disagree with the process. I don't believe it's the current board that should be selecting these candidates. I believe it should be the newly constituted board that takes place on or about December 12th. So I, I, since I had to second it, I'm going to second it with, with the caveat that there's a statutory requirement to do so, um, and, and that's why I'm going to proceed. But I do not think, I, I don't agree with the law, and I, I think it's the new board that would offer the best representation. Uh, Lucy will raise your hand when one minute has gone by. At the end of the meeting, each board member will select their top two candidates and submit for discussion and approval of the finalists. And uh, once again, we will be taking no comments from the audience during the interview. This is, um, this is, a, this is an interview held in open session and um, if there's any comments after each and every candidate has been interviewed, you may make comments afterwards. And it's probably going to take approximately, if everybody's here, about four hours. And each candidate's getting the exact same questions. So there's no differentiation. What prompted your application for the Board of Education uh, now rather than during the election filing period in August? I would have put it in in August, but I was away at that time taking care of my stepfather and my mother up in Vegas and passed away. And then I missed the deadline, and then I seen that in the, uh, in the country journal to uh, put an application in. You can see about getting on the board, and I figured that's well, I found out about it just from hearsay or whatever. And when I found out it was available, I had, because I've always had interest in the direction of the school board and, and just the direction of education in this area in general. <coughs> wanted to be a part of uh, I didn't want to run for election and I thought that an appointment would be the best way to do it. Uh, so and I also see that the community needs someone to fill the position. So rather than uh, scramble with everyone else, now's the time to step forward when they have an opening and it's also an opportunity for you, the most informed of the group, to choose who's best qualified. A lot of times, there's not much money spent on these elections, and a candidate can't get their message out very well. So you people are where the, the rubber meets the road, so you best know who would fit with the skills to be uh, a member of the board. These are all predetermined. We didn't make them up, and we can't change them. And she has the opportunity to respond as she would like to. And, uh, but I don't, otherwise we have to give all the other candidates the opportunity to submit a written statement. That's fine, that's fine. I believe that there's questions. No, I don't believe it's possible. When I heard that there was a, uh, an opening, as I wrote in my application, I, 
decided that being an empty nester, this would be a good time to throw my hat in the ring and see if what I have is of assistance to the board. I've been a long time resident and my I've had some concerns over the past. I have not uh, had the liberty in my business until now to, I think, put the time in that's required to do the job that you people have been doing. And I do now. Um, particularly in my line of work, which is family law, I've dealt with school boards and IEPs and a number of educational institutions over the years. and. This last year, for whatever reason, has turned into quite a slump in my business. And now I'm actually in a position where I've got the time and I think some abilities to assist the board in trying to deal with the issue. Um, my answer is um, I have lived here in Acton for seven years. I have six children. I have four who have spent the last seven years um, in the Apton Agua Dulce School District. I have one who's in college. We just started at UCSB. I have three at Vasquez High School. And I have two small children who will start um, in the district in probably three years, two years, and three years. So I have a vested interest in the long-term viability and growth of the district. Um, quite frankly, with six children, um, I kind of feel that now that they're older, I can catch my breath a little bit. Um, and I just felt that personally it was a good time to be able for myself to invest what I know would be, um, you know, personal time on my part and, and make it worthwhile. Uh, aware at the time that there was a, uh, there was a, a request for candidates. Uh, to to apply for the election process, and then uh, once I noticed the uh, 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 announcement in the Country Journal, I uh, contacted the school district, and they told me that this process was available. And uh, so, if, that's me. So if I'd known about that, I would have I would have certainly um, applied the first chance that I found out. There ought to be some closed session for you all to be able to speak about this. Can't be done? No. No. Violation of Brown Act. Has to be Cannot on be done. session. We have to, anything and everything we're going to say has to be said in kind of session. And for me personally, I, I'd rather make sure that when I'm involved, you make the best possible decision on behalf of the kids and not always look for a reason to do something according to a, a rule book. Now, you, you can't make exceptions to that all the time. And if this happens to be one that's very strict and very important, but I would hope that if this is a, if you're coming to a very bad decision because there are a set of rules that require you to do that, that's a moment in which you pause and say, can we figure out a different way to do this? Including table it for another time. If on the other hand you feel like you're coming to a good decision as a board. Well, Ed, were you confident tonight that you might get a chance to uh, be uh, able to fill this position? You know, um, I was putting my best into it. Uh -huh. I was a little bit nervous. Yes. I forgot a couple of real important things, like being on the school side council for three years. Yes, yeah, very important. I would important. say that was probably the most important thing I should have mentioned. Uh -huh. I forgot to bring that up. But you know, like I said, both my parents being teachers. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Really. Where? Uh, where were they teachers? In France. Oh, is France, that so? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. in, in a town called Metz. Uh huh. France, and I know. My, I've been there. Yeah. Wow. And uh -huh. uh, my my dad eventually became. Uh, the district superintendent after being a I see. principal for about four or five years, and uh -huh. then my mom's second grade teacher. Oh, uh huh. So, yeah, I was. Did uh, they come to the United States? When I was 13, Were so you 25 13? years ago, yeah. Oh, okay. and they went back to France. Uh -huh. So now I'm here on my own, you know, and, uh, my wife and my son. Uh -huh. And uh, I was just really nervous up there uh, in front of the mic, and uh -huh. I've been told to come uh, at 10 o'clock. Uh -huh. And they called me and said, come at 8.45. <laughs> Early. Nine o'clock, so that, that made uh -huh. me quite nervous. But I really, you know, I'm very grateful for the consideration. And sure. The, you know, I think everybody, I, I really uh, appreciate the support. Uh huh. Well, uh, best wishes uh, you for much. your generosity to give the time to the community. I appreciate that. And uh, your expertise. Thank you so much.